Hi everyone, welcome to another Creative Suite online tutorial. In this lesson I'll be teaching you guys how to create the following website layout in Dreamweaver CS6. In front of us is the finished product. It's basically what we are going to create in this tutorial. As you can see, the website layout has a header which consist consists of an image and a banner, a navigation bar, some contents, and below that we have a footer. So let's start off this tutorial by opening up Dreamweaver, creating a HTML document like so. And the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to save this document. So save it as website layout or anything you want to. I'll save that. And then once we've done that we want to go to page properties down below and we want to change the background color to a darkish gray color and where it says margins I'll assign the number 0 to each margin so I'll assign the number 0 pixels to the left right and top margin like so I'll click apply then OK as you can see the darkish grayish color that we assigned the uh, CSS rule too has basically changed the background color from white to the darkish grayish color. Um, what we are going to want to do now is we are going to want to I'll close that and I want to go to the inserts panel go to insert div tag and where it prompts me on where to insert the div tag I'll have it at insertion point and I'll call this tag container. I'll click OK as you can see container has been placed on my design view canvas page um, basically this container div will hold all of our other divs all of our other divs will be placed within this one div or one container div like so we'll create a new CSS rule for container div I'll create a new CSS rule click OK I'll go to box and where it says width I'll have it as 960 pixels wide and where it says margin I'll have the top and bottom margins set to 0 pixels and I'll have the right and left margins set to auto I'll hit apply and basically what that did is it shrunk the tag or the container tag inwards and basically it centered it within the uh, web page or within the design view canvas page like so I'll delete content for ID container goes here I'll get rid of that as you can see the div has collapsed on itself but it's still there so, so don't worry I'll insert another div tag and once again where it prompts me on where to insert the div tag I'll have after the start of the tag and I'll select the container tag I'll name this header. I'll create a new CSS rule for header. I'll go to background and I'll change it to a light bluish color so you guys know uh, what's going on within the design view. I'll go to box. I'll change the dimensions of our div to 254 pixels wide and 154 pixels high. I'll also go to float and float that to the left. Basically what this float does is it takes that div out of its normal position within the uh, web page. And yeah that's about it. I'll click apply then OK. As you can see our header div has changed its dimensions and it's also had the color blue assigned to it. So basically it's changed its background color to blue. What we are going to want to do now is we'll insert another div. Uh, where we want to insert the div is after the tag and after the header tag. I'll name this div banner and we'll create a CSS rule for banner by having the background color changed just like we did with header to a lightish greenish color. I'll go to box and I'll change the width or the dimensions of banner to 706 pixels wide and 154 pixels high. I'll float this to the right like so and I'll click apply then OK. 
I'll get rid I'll get rid of this content for ID banner and as you can see we have two divs within our container div one is header one is banner uh, header is light blue and banner is light green what we are going to want to do now is we are going to want to create placeholders within these two div tags so that once we place an image within this div it will take the dimensions of that div and it won't go all over the place and one way we can create a placeholder is by going to code placing our cursor within the arrow keys of the header div going back to design view creating a new CSS rule this time in the selector name I'll type in IMG after the header selector name I'll click OK I'll go to box and where it says width I'll match the dimensions of the header div like so I'll have it 254 pixels wide 154 pixels high and I'll float it to the left click apply then OK I'll do the exact same thing with the banner div I'll place my cursor within those arrow keys go to design view create a new CSS rule type in IMG short for image after the banner selector name I'll click OK I'll go to box 706 pixels wide 154 pixels high I'll float this to the right basically I'm just copying the characteristics of the banner div within this banner IMG CSS rule I'll click apply then OK once we've created our uh, placeholders we can now insert our images and to do that I'll go to code view once again place my cursor within the header div tag between the arrows go to design view insert image I'll scroll down and search for my image which is this click OK and then voila as you can see the image that I've placed within this website layout has taken the dimensions of the div tag and I'll do the exact same thing with banner so I'll place my cursor within the arrow keys of the banner div tag I'll go to design view insert image and I'll select this I'll click OK like so and as you can see the banner has taken the dimensions of the banner div uh, if it if you didn't have the banner placeholder there basically this div tag or this image this banner image would be placed anywhere basically because it wouldn't be you know it would have dimensions that didn't equal the banner IMG CSS rule and there you have it that's our header of our website layout once you've created your header for our website layout we can start creating our navigation bar so I'll go over, go over to our inserts panel click on insert div tag and where it prompts us to insert the div tag I'll have it after the tag and after the banner tag I'll name this tag navbar let's assign a CSS rule to navbar click OK this time I'll go to background I'll change the background color to this 093 this darkish greenish color I will also go to box and I'll change the height of navbar to 30 pixels high I'll go to clear and I'll clear both basically what this clear function does is it clears the left and right floats of those two day of those two tags uh, div tags that are above us basically if I didn't have that there uh, one of these three tags would collapse on itself so I'll also go to padding I'll assign 10 pixels to the top and bottom of our navbar I'll click apply then OK I will also go back into navbar CSS the navbar CSS rule and I will go to type I will change the font size to 16 and the font weight to bold 
I'll change the color of our font to black, then click apply. Click OK and let's start creating our navbar. I'll type in home, space, hold down the shift key and the backward slash to create a straight line. Then I'll type in services, once again create a straight line. Products, straight line once again, case study, space, hold down shift, backward slash to create a straight line and contact us. Uh, basically for this tutorial I won't create the links uh, to this navigation bar. Uh, basically the purpose of this video is just to show you how to create a website layout but down the track I'll be showing you guys how to create a fully designed uh, fully customized website with links and images and all of that. But let's just create this navigation bar like this and once that's done let's create our content for this website layout. So let's go to insert div once again. I'll have it after the tag and I'll have it after the navbar tag. I'll name this div content. Let's assign a CSS rule to content. Let's go to background and let's give it this lightish greenish color. I'll go to box and just like I did with navbar, I'll give it some padding so it doesn't collapse on itself. So for the top and bottom margins, I'll have 10 pixels like so. I'll click apply, then OK. Now what I want to do is to make things easier for myself, I'll go back into my web browser. I'll go to this website right here, lipsum.com, and I'll generate me some lorem ipsum uh, to basically be a substitute for my contents. I'll just copy this like so, control C to copy, go back into Dreamweaver, place my cursor within that content div and voila, basically I've copied some lorem ipsum or I've placed some content within this uh, content div, like so. Like that. And I'm not too happy about the padding of the uh, content within this content div. I want it to have, you know, a bit of some space between there. So I'll go back into content. And I'll assign padding an additional 10 pixels for the right and left padding. I'll click apply, like so. That's a bit better. And once we've created created our content, let's create our let's create our footer. So I'll insert a div tag. Once again, where it prompts us to insert the div tag, I'll have it after the tag. And you guessed it, I'll have it after the content tag. I'll name this tag footer. Click OK. And once again, like we did with our other divs, let's create a CSS rule for con uh, for the footer tag. I'll click OK. Go to background and I'll change it to this 093 color. So this darkish color that we had for the nav bar. I'll go to box. For the height, I'll set it as 30 pixels high. I'll clear both and for the padding I'll assign 10 pixels for the top, right, bottom and left margins like so. I'll click apply then OK. I'll get rid of this content for ID footer goes here and I'll type in copyright 2013 creative Sweet, that's me. I will then place, I'll go back into this CSS rule. Go to background. Sorry, go to block. Go to text align. Center. Click apply. Then OK. And then we have it. We have our footer, which has copyright 2013 Creative Suite. That's been justified and centered. Well, not justified, it's basically being centered within this footer tag. 
and that's basically it let's view this in a in our web browser so I'll go to preview in Chrome I'll save changes to website layout like so and as you can see we have our website layout we have a header that contains an image and a banner our navigation bar we have some content and directly below the content we have our footer like so and that's basically what we created um, that's it for this tutorial please like my video uh, if you have any comments please put them in the comment section directly below the description box uh, please subscribe to my channel I will be creating more videos and like I said uh, this is a website layout not a website and down the road I will be creating a fully customizable website uh, thanks for watching